pressing issue, I would suggest, for people living in uh, mid and northwest Wales is the deep, deep concern there is for the closure of two uh, at Wales Air Ambulance bases in Welshpool and Carnarvon. These are serious issues that have caused thousands of people worry and concern over the past two years. Um, and can I ask you, uh, as the First Minister, why the government did not step in, did not step in to ensure that those two crucial bases remain in operation? I think the starting point is, how do you deliver a better service? A better service and get to more people in need to have better outcomes and to save more lives. That's why... Is it about more people or reaching the me, most let, appropriate let, people? Let me answer the question. That's why we introduced the service in the first place. The EMERT service is there to deliver and to deal with that. And as it started, we've had evidence of how the service has worked, but also you know, the, the serious and significant clinical leadership in this area about can we design a better service? And actually, the evidence presented is that we will deliver a better service for more people in moving to the new model. That's underpinned the clinical leadership and the evidence. And for the government to intervene, to overturn that clinical leadership on the basis of um, understandable campaigns run by local... Because if you say mo moving from two bases to one, um, people often fight for what's local and what's near them. And I understand that. But actually, the very clear evidence presented and delivered by um, not just uh, by EMITS, by its clinical director as well, says that this will deliver a better service. And there's always a choice for the public about do you want better or not? And who do you trust to explain what better is? And will you trust someone who is a clinical expert in that area? Or will you trust a politician at the head of a campaign? And I don't think that there would be a basis for the government yeah. to say we are prepared to countermand and override a better service Sorry, with the evidence uh, around First, but if you're suggesting politicians are leading this campaign, that's not correct. The campaigns are led by local people, tens of thousands of people signing petitions across Mid and North Wales. But these aren't only the communities, these are people that are based on health professionals the professionals themselves that are airing concern about bases closing in Welshpool and Carnarvon. But this is also not just uh, those health professionals, but it's the health, local health boards in Paris, Health Board, Betsy Goodwallader, both in covering those areas, also not accepting the recommendations and showing concern of the recommendations in terms of closing these bases. This isn't politicians leading this, this is communities and health professionals. And surely, can you not recognise the strength of feeling? And, and I would ask what considerations the government can give to stepping into funding the air ambulance bases, which are currently provided by a charity, in looking at a different model. Because do you not think, because the government is ultimately responsible for ensuring people get transferred into uh, urgent care as quickly as possible, do you not think that it is the government that should take the lead on this? and ensure that the funding is available to keep appropriate bases open across the entire Wales, including Mid and North Wales as well. But we come back to the central point, don't we? This isn't about money. This is about what is the appropriate model to make sure that people have the best possible service with greater coverage at a time when that can make a difference. And the evidence that has been presented has been compelling about the change making a positive difference. And for the government to say, we will ignore that evidence and introduce a system uh, that flies in the face of that, I don't see how you can do that. You don't always get to make easy or popular choices in the government. But actually, if we had done as you suggest, and you, know, you have urged the government to do on more than one occasion, I think in a few years' time, if we then look back and say that was a mistake, it won't be people running petitions, and it won't be you who will have to stand up and explain why well, the government overrode a clear clinical case for improvement that would save more lives and actually get to more people at a time when that care could be provided. And this requires 
investment for that to happen. But, but so this is not about money. You, you keep you, no, I, I appreciate it's not about money, and that's been said many times. I need to be moving on. I, so. no, one more question, and I'll finish if that's all right, Chair. You keep mentioning First Minister about reaching more people, but do you not recognise it's about reaching the right people, not more people? And that underpins the case, Russell. And that's the challenge here. The case is underpinned by reaching more people, more people, and gain a greater benefit. That's not what's important. And that is what is important. Reaching the right people. Because that is what's important. The right people are the people who need the service. Yes. Agreed. Wherever they are in the country, they are the right people. Agreed. And the evidence that underpins the move is that this will allow more of those people to have the right care at the right time to save more lives. I, I need to move on now because we've come to time. Joyce.